Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. I am super excited to continue Dave's defect with a discussion of a quite common and quite commonly misunderstood film winding defect, the tin can. We will begin by saying what a tin can is not. First, Tin cans are not moisture welts, though they do have a superficial resemblance because both have annular ridges. They both share a similar expanse of physics. However, a moisture welt is caused when a hygroscopic web, namely paper, is wound at a moisture level that is in not in equilibrium with the environment. As the paper takes on moisture from the air, it tries to grow in width. However, since the outer layer or layers are locked on to their neighbors beneath, they are not free to move their edges out. They take the extra width by moving up instead of out. These physics are covered in my Web 101 school, my 1993 Tappy Journal article, and in many other places. Neither are tin cans caused by web thickness variations, per se. We learn in the winding sections of my Web 101 course a dozen different ways to know that you have profile variations in basis weight, caliper, density, gauge, thickness, or whatever you want to call it. In this picture, we see ridges, valleys, and corrugations. But there are no tin cans here. Corrugations are not tin cans, and tin cans are not corrugations. One way to tell the difference between tin cans and gauge bands can be simple. Tin cans, when present, have an even spacing. Thus, while a tin can may favor a generally high gauge profile area, because that area is tighter and tin cans are a tight defect, tin cans can form on perfectly level material. Corrugations and gauge bands and tin cans are three totally different defects, as we learned in our Web 101 school. In summary, the defining feature of a tin can is a regular spacing of ridges that is not associated with regularly spaced thickness ridges. The physics of why this defect forms is complicated, so we will not cover it here. See my Web 101 school for more details. The remedy options are quite simple in principle. Wind looser by reducing all of the tightness knobs. Forget about taper. This is not a taper defect. Simply wind loose, especially at the outside. Leveling your product's thickness variation is almost always helpful for tight and loose defects, even if thickness profile itself is not the root cause mechanics. In our Web 101 class, we learn many ways of how to look at a master or shipping roll for evidence of thickness variations, both just after winding and then sometime later. So we do not need to do that here. As mentioned, we covered the tin can as well as dozens of other winding defects in Module 26 of Web 101. 
There are also two pages of description in the Ultimate Role in Web Troubleshooting Guide. I did look at the Roysom Library database, a free Abbott app, but could not find anything on tin canning. This may be a keyword shortcoming on my part because there may be a short mentioned somewhere in the 4,000 articles in that database. Also, I seem to remember there being a web handling research study on the tin can, but danged if I can find it. I also tried a brief Google search. Again, keyword strategies are super important. That is because the tin can is a word used for a metal container. I used tin can film roll defect and found quite a bit of stuff, including quite a bit of junk. If any of you knows of a good paper on this subject, please share in the comment section below. Thank you so very much for joining me in this defect solving and defect preventing series. Stay tuned for the next clip where we talk about machine vibration. If you have a defect you would like to hear about, let me know in the comment section below or email me. If you found anything interesting or useful here, please like and share and subscribe. Also, please consider supporting the work of this channel using the Patreon link below. See you next time!